News at 9. Many of us struggle to find what we're meant to do in life, especially during a recession. And for one woman in the Southwest Metro, that true calling found her. And now she's kind of horsing around, reaping the rewards and throwing the book at her fours. Fox Nice Tom Holden explains. <laughs> you know, these animals are the most amazing, beautiful creatures you could ever, ever imagine. You'd never guess it by watching her now. There you go, Ali. But 19 years ago, Katie Bloomquist didn't know the difference between a bridle... I used to be allergic to horses. ...and a saddle. I grew up in Edina. Now she and her husband own and operate Trophy Hill Sport Horses west of Chaska in Cologne. This guy was a racehorse at Canterbury. Katie loves rescuing horses, but you could say horses rescued her. After college, Katie was working at a downtown law firm seven days a week. Her boss told her to get a hobby or she'd burn out. So he took her to a horse farm in the West Metro and... That was it. Within six months, I had my own horse. Later, met my husband in the event world, and then we got this farm. Besides practicing her riding, Katie has since become one of the state's few equine attorneys. Yep, a practicing horse lawyer. She's incredibly busy representing horse owners and veterinarians in cases ranging from boarding businesses and breeding to accidents and injuries. Now, don't feel bad if you've never heard of a horse lawyer. Katie says most of her fellow attorneys have no idea there is such a thing either. And then I get all these jokes about which end of the horse do you represent and da 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 and you know even the judges will give me jokes about it frequently. But Katie's truly getting the last laugh. She's successfully argued a case in front of the state Supreme Court and her business is booming with people in the horse industry like vets and trainers. When we think about stuff we follow a very logical manner and frankly life does not follow logic. And, and it's nice to have somebody talking into your ear going, you have to think about this, 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 and this. Most of us will never need an equine attorney, but Katie says as the field of animal law grows, especially into things like our pets, we're going to need an attorney at some point, most likely to get us out of a heap of trouble. That's because she sees more people substituting animals for kids. And as you see that, you see uh, continuing growth in the field because people are pushing, you know, the want for uh, emotional distress damages, sentimental damages, more compensation. So well, that will mean more billable hours for attorneys like Katie. She's not too sure if it's a good trend. I'd like to see that there are ways that you can resolve a conflict short of being able to, to go to court. In Cologne, Tom Halden. And you can see they're hungry. Fox 9 News. She really is a horse whisperer. Yeah, I and think so. You know, she's got the ear of the trainers, the mm -hmm. owners. She's really taken stock. And she's uh, oh, oh. pretty sharp, too. Yeah. Because she put Tom to work while he was there. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> she's no dummy. Yeah. Coming up, we got.